Thousands of studies over the past 40 years document that light therapy is all natural and safe to use. It provides a cascade of benefits that stimulate the healing process for humans and animals. A 2015 medical publication by Dr. Howard B. Kotler entitled, A NASA Discovery Has Current Application in Orthopedics, states that low-level laser therapy, or LLLT, has been actively used for nearly 40 years, during which time it has been known to reduce pain, inflammation, and edema. It also has the ability to promote healing of wounds, including deep tissues and nerves, and prevent tissue damage through cell death. Much of the landmark research was done by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, and these studies provided a springboard for many additional basic science studies. This video illustrates how the use of light energy, when harnessed properly, can help promote improved wellness and healing. At the basic level, all cells in the body have a miniature power plant within it called the mitochondria. This is where our cell's energy is produced term for this energy is called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. ATP is formed from oxygen and glucose, both of which are carried to cells by blood flow. Muscle injuries or fatigue may lead to decreased blood flow and reduced amounts of oxygen and glucose to cells. When this happens, the mitochondria cannot manufacture normal amounts of ATP. If ATP production is compromised, then the body is no longer functioning at optimal levels. Because the mitochondria are very sensitive to light, application of light energy can stimulate ATP production in the mitochondria. Light energy stimulates the release of nitric oxide from hemoglobin into the bloodstream. When nitric oxide is released from hemoglobin, it enters the muscle cells and walls of the blood vessels. The muscle cells relax as the blood vessel diameter enlarges, allowing more blood to flow through the vessels. Application of light energy to increase nitric oxide levels in the body offers many benefits. For example, inflammation and pain can occur when oxygen levels are too low, but increasing blood flow via nitric oxide reduces inflammation. Think of how painful your finger becomes if you wrap a rubber band around it. The rubber band cuts off blood flow, therefore depriving cells of oxygen. The pain recedes when the rubber band is removed. Tissues that need to heal or simply recover from prolonged use require oxygen, nutrients, ATP, and growth factors. The key to optimizing this process is better blood flow. Fortunately, when light energy is applied to any specific site, nitric oxide increases and along with it, blood flow increases at the same time. Light is composed of photons. Photons are quantum units of energy. A photon emitted at a specific wavelength or color contains the same energy irrespective of the source. Light near the blue end of the spectrum penetrates about 2 to 3 millimeters. Light at the red end of the spectrum penetrates about 8 to 10 millimeters. And near-infrared light penetrates about 20 to 100 millimeters. Near-infrared light is more energetic than visible light, less resistant to reflection and absorption, and therefore penetrates soft tissue to a deeper level. These are generalizations because the more red cells with hemoglobin in the path of the photons, the shallower the depth of the penetration. Therefore, when seeking a light therapy product to purchase, the two most important things to consider are combinations of wavelengths being used and irradiance dosage. This represents the amount of energy a specific part of your body receives over a set period while using the device. Think of it as the rate of energy delivered.